Hey, Wilson Taylor here. Today, we're gonna go over just a couple quick tips on active track. Some things to avoid when using active track and some ways to get some better shots. But please make sure to stay tuned to the end because I have a tip for you on how to get some shots that are much cleaner than using active track. Just a quick hint on what that tip might be. Make sure to stay tuned. So let's jump right into active track. One of the very first things to understand about active track or using force mobile is you have to have the raven eye. So if you do not have the raven eye which comes in the combo kit, then make sure to go on to the DJI and order the raven eye because it's not just an image transmitter, but it connects the two. It connects the gimbal to the camera. So if you notice here, we have a cable that's hooked to the gimbal as well as to the Raven Eye, and that is what is controlling the two together, as well as transmitting that image to a phone or to an iPad, some sort of device to where you can connect and control like she's doing right now with the Force Mobile, as you can see. But Active Track, you can actually engage on the device through the little screen on the back, or if you're using an iPad or an iPhone, you can connect via the device that you're connected to. You notice in this clip right here where I'm walking along and it's active track is actually focused on my head. Even when I turn my head, it is still tracking me. This is pretty close, so I'm not far away and it's tracking me quite well. Notice here when I pass through some trees, they are small trees, it gets hung up for a second, but then jumps back to my head. But then notice when I start walking directly behind a tree, then it loses me. So Active Track is actually following me quite well in that instance. Notice in this instance right here, where this is not near trees, but still I am close. And what I have it set up to now is I'm following my wife as she runs along and I am running next to her with active track following her. And notice how well it stays focused directly with her. So the entire time it doesn't lose her. And so the benefit in something like this is you're able to just pay attention to yourself. You track your subject and then just pay attention forward as you are running and allow the camera to just track the subject. That way you're not stumbling and falling as you're running along with the subject. Notice this case here where it's tracking her quite well on the bridge. But notice, as soon as I come across some tree branches, it gets hung up and no longer tracks her. So that's one of the cases to where active track isn't so good because it's not the face recognition so much as it is just the subject, but it jumps and stays on the tree branches. Here's another instance where active track can be very useful. Notice in this product shot, when you are just tracking something that's stationary and you want to move around it, perhaps doing something in slow motion and trying to get those smooth shots. Active track can be very useful in this instance, but make sure your gimbal moves are very smooth or it can cause some jittery look to it. So I hope this was helpful and I hope this was useful. I hope, I hope, I hope. Hopefully this was useful, but my bonus tip for you is sometimes active track just won't work. There's some instances. So notice this clip here when you could use Force Mobile instead of Active Track. So here's my number one tip when Active Track just will not track a subject. If you have the ability to put your gimbal down or even mount it onto a tripod like I am using, you can use Force Mobile. So notice in this instance where the subject is walking across the bridge, it has so much in front of him, whether it's the side rails to the bridge and all of the tree branches. If I was using Active Track in this instance, it would 
would not follow him because it's not face recognition. All it is is active track, so it's tracking the subject. So going through all of these tree branches, having trees in front, and all the other obstacles using Force Mobile, you are able to smoothly track the subject. All right, guys, I hope this gave you guys some better ideas about Active Track, how to control it in some instances to where you might want to use Force Mobile if you have the means to do so. So get out there and create something. Get out there and make something. Get off the couch and put this stuff to use. We will see you in next one. Make sure to hit the like and the bell icon as well as subscribe. Well, you get notified every time we come out with this great and wonderful content to help you. That's right, you create better content. See ya. Bye. Till the next time. Would you just stop? Seriously, stop. Stop rolling your eyes at me. What is wrong with you? Yeah, look at me. I'm talking to you. Who do you think you are? You think you're better than me? Oh, really? Show me your back end, huh? Okay. Jeez. Women.